Hi, this is Simon Chan and welcome to my network marketing training. Members of my coaching mastermind groups can ask me questions on a weekly basis. Any tips or advice? And today's question comes from Guillermo out in Mexico. And Guillermo says, Hi Simon, thanks for the answer to my last question. Now I have one more for you. You mentioned that you make a plan for rank advancements with your team. Is it possible that you share the way you do it? It would be helpful. Thanks. Okay, great question. When I go for rank advancements, um, first of all, I look at the legs. So, for example, if I'm going for um, a diamond, I have to you know maximize certain business centers. I look at my business and see who are on the legs that could benefit when I make get that volume, right? And also who on those legs can contribute because I can't do it myself. It's about leadership, it's a team. So once I find out where my legs are and who's going to contribute, um, I, I contact, you know, I do a call and I find out who wants to rank events, who wants to be serious. You know, um, I'll ask them, do you have an action plan? And I see who comes back to me. Then I know who's serious, right? Now, I would also, after they come back to me, uh, I know who's going to be, those are the ones I'm going to work with. Now, they may be one or two, they may not be on the legs that I'm growing, but still, hey, they may as well, uh, we can help them as well, right? They may, we can help them as well because the momentum, and even if they don't help you specifically rank advance, they will solidify your business, solidify your legs. So if I'm, you know, my four business centers for Diamond, uh, I'm looking at the legs. So one person may not even be in those business centers, but that's okay. They will do the momentum, we'll do the trainings. I'll just let them know during that time, whenever we do this, we're going to go all out. So bring on the three ways, bring on the meetings. We're going to go full production mode. Okay. So, um, I, I, so then most of the time, the, um, when people come back, then I, I look at the volumes. I, I plan a strategy. So, for example, if John's on one business center, I'm going to plan to max, maximize that business center. Could John benefit? If John's a you know, builder, could he go silver, right? And if he goes silver, how much volume do we need to put? Uh, and which week will he go in? Which week will he go silver in? Uh, would it be week two? Maybe week two is not good because we have Mary on the other leg that can, that's planning those silver earlier and... Th th that would uh, help me maximize my first week. So John has more time, he can go second week. So we plan it out. And also I say, hey John, to motivate, I could put, if you can bring one person in your downline, I'll match that person in your downline. If you can sponsor one, I'll sponsor one, right? Or if you can give it, bring a, get a customer, I'll work hard to get a customer and match that. So my, my upline used to do this for me as well. Hey, I gotta sign up. I have a professional pack sign up, but you gotta bring in one. If you don't bring in one this week, this is gonna go on another line. So for me, what I did was then I worked my downline. Hey, you know my upline's got a prof professional pack to put it on downline. It could be under you. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we were. So way he played because I was only like a silver. So when went on my leg, it didn't matter, right? If it went under John, that's great, right? So I both. So it ended up just not me looking for a sign up, but John, just both John and I will work to get that sign up, uh, a sign up, so that once we got a sign up, my upline could put that person underneath me. And of course, then it becomes. What, you know, instead of getting a professional pack 1250, we got another professional pack that's 2005, right? And that helps my upline max because all of a sudden, he, so he gets leverage, right? So that's how he did it, and that's exactly what I did. So what if I'm going, going, uh, and so you, of course we're leaders, we need the sponsor. We say we can put so much volume, but you need to bring that volume first. If you can bring the volume, I can put it under there. If you can't bring it, then I gotta put it somewhere else. Right. So that motivates it. the people with director types. They love that. They'll get, I mean, I loved it. Hey, but every time I, my upline one time said, I can get two people, but you got to bring in four. And, oh, that got me going. I have two people. If I can bring in four, that's four. All of a sudden, instead of adding four, I, my team would add six new people into my team. Think of how fast that would grow. So that would motivate me. Then I talk to all my downlines. My upline can bring in, put in two, but you guys got to bring in. If you bring in two, I'll put in one. Right? So I'll split them up. Because my upline, they don't care if they go together. If you bring in two, I'll bring in one. So I have my whole downline moving, 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 trying to get two signups so they can get this one that we put in. Okay. So those are just some of the strategies. I also look at ownership reports. Um, say we're very short. I mean, maybe we can't go for a rank advancement. Because we need rank advancements need momentum. You just can't wake up one day and say, oh, let's go for a rank advancement. Let's go. Right? You need momentum. So we'll plan out maybe three months in advance. So three months, we got to build up the pipeline. Pipeline meaning the top prospects. We gotta go hit it hard now. But sometimes people they may not sign up right away, right? So we need to get the prospects going, going get so they're motivated, then we can all close them during the four week run. But we'll put them all in on the four week run. 
right? So we will um, choose a date. Let's look at all the ships. Realistically, how, you know, if we, if we have like, you know, it might. So, for example, when I went gold, uh, we made a plan that we are going to add 20 new people. Uh, actually, turned out to be 20 new people. It was actually 30 people in the next four, in the next six weeks. Uh, and once we started getting, and we, we start, my leaders, we started going to run. We added 13 people in two weeks. Hey, we said, we got a great momentum, and let's do our run. So that, a lot of times that happens. Like once you start a fire, it's a small flame. It often becomes a huge, you know, it could be a huge forest fire, right? So that's what you want to create. When you get excitement. And when people get excited, so you do meetings, you get bigger and bigger. It's magical things happen. But you're the leader. You must start that. You must start that. It's like the flame, the little match. Once you get that going, your team will get going. Okay. Um, so I would plan it out for maybe three months. And, then you, and you just have to start sponsoring and get the momentum. And say, this is the date. Let's, this is the date we start. You better get ready or you're going to miss out on this. So you do weekly calls. Uh, I mean, you should be doing weekly trainings anyway. And when you do the weekly trainings, you're motivating your team. You're telling them about your plans, how everyone can contribute. And not everyone can give like four signups, three signups, right? If you're going for silver, maybe someone just get a couple customers, but every point counts, right? If they're the supporter, the leaders, they can get one or two signups. If they're the rest, maybe they can get a couple points, you know, one or two customers, three customers, but every point counts. So it's that kind of like, um, when people go to war, they choose a date. That's the date we attack, right? You choose a date. That's the date we go all out. But every guy has to be ready. And when you do your team calls, don't talk about yourself. Just talk about how the team can benefit, right? Um, how, you know, for example, if the soldiers are fighting and the general says, oh, if you all win, I'm going to benefit. I'm going to get rank. I'll be, I'll be their favorite, famous general. No one's going to be motivated to fight, right? You got to be to motivate people. You got to see how they benefit. Maybe. So you do the call and say, hey, this is great. We're going to rank advancements. And when we do rank advancements, you guys will benefit the business. So yeah, my vision is, you know, in three months from now, we do this run. John's going to be silver. Mary's going to be a bronze director, right? And uh, we have Joey who just got started. He's, going to, he's only an associate. He can go and become an achiever, make a $400 check. So those are the things I would say. And, uh, and also, I would define what those terms mean. So... You know, silver director it doesn't mean anything. What does that mean? It's a thousand dollars. You can earn a re-entry, right? Uh, achiever, you earn your first four hundred dollar check, and to a lot of people, four hundred dollars is a lot of money. So I'll define in terms they understand. And when I do the weekly during the run, when I do the weekly, uh, when I do the weekly uh, weekly team calls, I give announcements. Hey, congratulations! Last week because of the run, uh, because of the run, you know, John became a, a silver director. He earned his first thousand dollar check. Right, you know, Joey just got started. Uh, he didn't make a cheer yet, but he became a builder. He earned the first two hundred dollar check, and I always define the rank with income, so people know what that means. So we just assume people know what diamond is, gold director. Most people don't, right? Especially new associates have no idea, right? But when you say someone became a cheever, who cares? But someone, you know, earned four hundred dollar check. Wow, how do I earn four hundred dollar check in a week? And a lot of people earn, earn, takes like two weeks to earn four hundred dollars. How do you do that? So that gets people. Um, excited. All right, Guillermo, I hope that's helpful. Uh, again, the focus is on helping your team think of ways where they can rank advance, find out which legs and what they can do. And uh, some people may not come to you, but the ones who are serious, they'll come to you and you know those are the ones you work with. All right, Guillermo, I hope that's helpful. Again, this is Simon Chan. Thank you for watching my network marketing training. Take care.